All right, guys, today's the day. I'm up here in the upper shed. Another crappy day of weather. Uh, got the 395 in here. It does just make it under there with the muffler and the roll bar. Uh, it is extremely muddy today. Um, there is kind of a road up through that hay field, so it's not like I'm tracking too much down. I'm gonna see if I can hook this up and get it squeezed out of here. It's not gonna be easy, but I think it'll just make it on either side. I don't want to have to rearrange too much or move the whole shed around <laughs> just to get this out. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have to. So let me muscle this thing up into place and uh, get a pin in and see if we can't get it out of this uh, upper shed. All right, for a small cart, it is pretty darn heavy, uh, but we got it. Got it hooked up. There's something hanging down there. Shouldn't catch on anything, I don't think. Uh, now I gotta try to fish this out. I can only go through the doorway on the bottom side with this tractor, and I don't know how that's gonna work towing this, but uh, just have to ease it on out through there. It's hard to see on camera how tight of a fit this is, but it uh, should make it. So let me stop talking and pull it on out of here. It's out. <laughs> Tires are not too bad, actually, that one. That one's flat. Uh, so, didn't quite go according to plan. I did bump the... Yeah, it's not bad. No damage. I did bump that with the loader a little bit. And I did scrape the exhaust pipe on the top. I couldn't get down far enough without hitting. It's out of here. That has been sitting in that spot since the 80s, <laughs> 1980s. It's amazing to me that this stuff sits around so long. Um, so it's out. I'm going to close up the door here. I'm done up here. And we're going to take it down. And uh, I guess first thing is going to be to sweep it off, blow it off, and see what we're working with here. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it moved. <laughs> you see how deep the holes are from sitting in the mud. So, all right, I'm gonna take this down. <laughs> well, I just jackknifed the tractor sliding down this embankment here. Uh, let's see if I can't get out. That's why it's nice to have the loader. It, everything is just so muddy. No traction at all. I had to dig that loader in to get stopped. Just coast down here. All right, I think we're good. All right. Oh, I hate that road going up the hill. It's the only way up there, and it's just uh, an embankment. Anyway, <laughs> enough complaining. I'm all right. <laughs> so, uh, it's down here. I think the first step, I'm going to clean off some of this wood. Uh, I did bring this wood down. I do need this. I want to build a railing for that staircase in the top of the barn. I want to cut these off for the uprights and uh, try to make a railing there. Um, but let's get it cleaned off and uh, get the leaf blower out, blow all the dust off, and uh, see what we're working with here. Okay, so these here are part of the uh, trailer. I didn't realize it when I was up there. I thought maybe they were fence posts, but they go... Not real straight, but <laughs> they're the perfect diameter to fit into these uh, pockets. And there's only four of them. And uh, yeah, it help hold the Christmas trees, I'd assume. Uh, there's only four of them. And I'm wondering if there wasn't more of these laying around the farm somewhere. If I see any of this that are made like this, uh, they could be for this wagon. So I just have to keep an eye out. And see if I can't find the uh, the rest of them. Not that I'd use them, but you never know. Might as well have the uh, everything with it that was with it. So I'm just going to clean this off here. I'll come back with you. All right, well, that's the first coat of <laughs> dirt. Uh, th uh, three, 30 years of uh, sitting, I think I might have found... The original hitch pin that they use for this. <laughs> I wonder who the last guy was to uh, set that there. <laughs> well, getting some of this dirt cleaned off. Um, I probably will get in another one of those jacks to uh, be able to jack this up when I unhook it so I don't need to put it up on blocks and fight with it every time. Uh, they're so inexpensive, uh, those wine... 
<clears throat> winding jacks. I'm sorry I'm out of breath again. Um, so this tire was the only one that looked a little low and uh, I'm gonna put air in it and see. First I wanna make sure it's not a split rim tire. I didn't look at the inside. If it's a split rim tire, uh, maybe not. But if it's a, just a regular, it looks like a, yeah, that's just a regular rim. There's the valve stem. Yeah, that one's low too. I don't know what'll happen putting air in, but uh, <laughs> it's at least worth a try maybe. Uh, I gotta get all that mud off of where the lugs are. Um, I don't know, I, I still don't see a size. 20, no wait, 700. 720. Okay, that's a weird size, I think. I know 10 120 is a common. I have a bunch of them, but they're not gonna fit on here. What's this? I always check both sides, because you know how these uh, farm trailers and farm stuff, and this one I don't see a size. I'll have to investigate that. Firestone. <laughs> so it's looking a little bit better. I'm gonna keep cleaning it up and uh, stick it away for now. It's There's more rain coming, so I gotta get it back inside, so. Um, so that's what it is. Uh, I'll come back with you then. All right, so I just pulled it in the space for the time being until I can, uh, it's getting dark. It's getting later in the evening here. Probably wouldn't be as dark if it wasn't so cloudy, but it's starting to rain again. So got everything put away. got it under a roof here. Uh, I'm going to uh, see about putting air in these tires maybe tomorrow and uh, see, <laughs> see if they'll hold air. Um, and I wanna go online and uh, order a jack for this uh, the front of this tongue so you don't have to block it up every time not that you're going to use it a lot but i mean they're so affordable why not so um once the tire situation is addressed uh i'm kind of thinking i might measure the lug pattern and see if i can't just find like a 15 inch truck tire and a rim and swap it over and uh, if it's low enough we might be able to get rid of these fender boxes and make it flat so it's perfectly flat and uh, go from there i'm not sure if i would maybe take one of the uh, guards off the front or the back, depending on what I'm loading on there. Um, I don't know. I have to think about this. Uh, <laughs> 1980s uh, farm Christmas tree wagon. Um, the possibilities are I could do whatever I want with it. So I'll have to look, think about it, but uh, I got it down here now at least. I've been thinking about this thing for months and trying to figure out what I want to do with it or what, when I want to bring it down. Um, so that's what we got. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll keep going from here.